So I have to say, I really fell in love with Unicorn Platform when I first used it, just because it was really easy to use and they have a lot of use cases. Now, I've talked to, again, the creator of Unicorn Platform and he's not really into digital products. He's more of like the SAS guy. And I just wanna show you some of the different showcases that they have of people that have built with Unicorn Platform. And this one in particular, AI Directory, it's actually bit built by the, the, the same guy. The company is Mars X, and they build a lot of, of really cool stuff. But you can see this is a large language models a directory, a lot of different types of sites that they can look quite different. And you can actually list your page there. So here's some testimonials and so on and so forth. What I want to do is I want to go in here and sign in and then show you how to create a website here with this. And I'll just show you first some of the blocks because some of the blocks are, are a little bit different. This is the site that, that I created. So if you go to create a website, okay, you'll have, they have some different options here, but you can see that they have these different websites. That looks very cool. This looks like gum roadie. They call it Neo brutalism. This looks, I guess, gum roadie too. So they've got some different looks for uh, different ones. This is the one that I built my visible creator on the clean SAS. I, I built one on this as well for my agency. They have these different freelance designer ones which can showcase your, your products. Obviously uh, here's an NFT one. So you want to actually pick something that's going to be more in line with what you've, what you, you've created. This is a nice one if you have an app and they've got a lot of different templates. Where you start is gonna make quite a bit of difference of the overall look of what you come up with at the end of the day. So they got a, a ton of different stuff. So let's do this one and let's make up a fake cryptocurrency coin that we can do with this, okay? So basically lets me see a big version of this and let's just generate a, a website from this. So now it's gonna ask me if I want placeholder content, which is the one that, that comes on the template or AI generated content. And so I'm going to say something about this product. I'm just coming up with something here. Let's just generate and see what it comes up with. And again, as I said, when you're generating this, you wanna put a lot of time into what you're actually creating and, and thought because the results anytime you use AI are going to be much better if you you know put some thought into what you're creating. So here it is. We've got this site done and hasn't done a lot uh, with this. This is a, quite repetitive, but as you can see, it's got the uh, the section. So if I wanted to build on this and it's still generating the uh, the page, then I've got something to start with. It's it makes it so much easier when you're not staring at a blank screen and you're looking at something like this. So it takes a similar amount of time. It doesn't take a ton of time to do this. You can see how you can, how you can create something with less stress, less mental friction, and something that looks good automatically. And if I had chosen a different template, it would have a completely different look. And that's one of the, one of the things about this. And I would say an advantage of Unicorn Platform over Lindo is that you have a little bit more variation in terms of the templates, in terms of fonts and everything like that, just from a starting out point, which I think would be important for, for many people. So both are really easy to customize. I have not used this template before. So we're going to look at the blocks on this actual template and then boom, I love that. eh? you see that? So this is how it is. So basically you can edit the navigation and I can choose a logo. And again, if I don't want, let's say, I don't want a pricing page, I can just remove that. And then the uh, the pricing will will disappear from there. Okay, so now the, the pricing is gone. And you can also ask AI for uh, different components. So if I want to edit the component, this I think is, again, one of the, one of the and when I'm comparing them, this is a drawback. So you actually don't type on the screen, you actually type here, and then it puts it on the screen. That I think is, again, something that, that, that makes Lindo a little easier to uh, design with. All right, so we're not gonna do a ton of thing, a uh, ton of with this. You can see what you need to do to, to change. They have these things that are already set up. 
and you can edit the component. Let's look at some of the blocks we can add to this because I think that's where it is. So again, we have the, the hero blocks. And if you just scroll down, you can search this. So if you want to search for code, JavaScript, you can put in HTML or something like this here. But if you want to just scroll down, you can see what it is that, that they have. So again, a lot of these are different forms you can put in, buttons, features are, are really nice. This is a nice feature block. This is a nice one because it's got the, the image beside it. And this is a little bit different. You'd actually choose this one or choose that one, unlike Lindo, where you were choosing one option and then there's variations in that option. You're basically just picking one and then customizing it. And again, with the photos, what I found is there's not great ones just with one photo, right? So it requires a little bit of editing. Either you take the text out here or you pick this and you delete the other photos. Whereas I think the text and the editing in Lindo are a little bit more intuitive. Here are the pricing tables, steps. I love the steps. We use this in, in our sales letter. So you can have different steps as people are, are going through them, which I think is, is just awesome. So if I put in the steps here, you can see how you can create that. And it, it keeps it in the font of the theme, which is a little bit different. And so let's ask AI about, let's see, at this component with AI. So we can ask it to improve the writing, for example. And instead of the ipsum lorem, it actually like puts in some actual text that you can work with. So that's how that works. And then you can change the, the tone. And I love this part to make anything more casual. And this can be what you've already written. So you can actually write something. I would copy and paste it just so you have a backup. Although you, you can just, as you saw, dial it back, but you can fix the grammar. So there's a lot of, of stuff that you can do with the AI. Okay. And as that's going, Again, you save the changes here. I love this change tone. Translate, you can make it longer, make it shorter, add emojis, that sort of thing. So it really makes it easy to create your, uh, your content. So we were at the steps. As you can see here, they've got a slider. These are new. So you go back and forth on the page, left and right, to the uh, toggle through a few different images, which is nice and great if you have an app. Post and resources. So this is a nice call out section. If you have a blog or you have some resources that you want people to, to check out some nice brand uh, image components, advanced post component, content tabs, which look really nice to show multiple screenshots in one component. They have a, a few testimonials. I find that there are more testimonial options in the Lindo. They have this product hunt wall, which is great for any type of product, this is a really great option. Then they have code, text. So here are the different text options. I find that this is actually uh, new and I actually, I was actually the one who requested this, more of a wide text option because when we were building it, we built our sales page mostly with, with this one. We use this one for a larger text and we use this, but they didn't have a wider text option. and. So I actually requested that and they put the, this in here because of, of me. So that just shows you how responsive that these guys are and they, they want to make a great product, which I think is, is phenomenal. So that would have been a lot easier because again, that allows you to just throw in a block of text like you would in a sales letter. And I like that. So here they have some FAQs. You've got a wide FAQ section, clients and partners. So you can just put that in and then swap out the, the logos links list which I think is again, uh, pretty interesting. So there's some ones here that uh, options that they, that they don't have on the, on Lindo and vice versa, but you can customize it and you'd be able to adapt context teams. And then they have some banners, which are nice. So these are actually new as well. The sticky banner, um, I would have used this. So this is great that they're coming out with these new options. Because I love the, the idea of having a call out on top of your page. And, I, and this would be uh, similar to something like Hello Bar, which is what we use during, during our launch. But it would have been much easier to use this, uh, this internal. And then they have the directory options, which are great if you want to build a directory site. A lot of opportunity in that. 
and then some advanced uh, options there as well. Yeah, so this is, is how this works. And again, you can just switch to different platforms. It's already on a subdomain. You can customize that subdomain here. Uh, so if you go into, into the subdomain, well, it's gonna make me save it, but, and you can go into the, uh, the different pages here. You can just make new pages and link them. And under the settings, again, you can set the, uh, the global parameters for this here. You can set the uh, subdomain, the Flavicon, the social website image, and it will give you uh, good definitions for that. The heads, uh, custom HTML settings. Now this is because we're choosing this theme, right? So it's changing the, the default font and that sort of thing. You can even invite collaborators to work on this with you, which is great. You can put in a custom domain, walks you through the steps, really easy to, to do. You put in widgets like a language selector and cookie consent. And obviously they're gonna be adding more here as well. And then the, the blog. So yeah, you can do that. And you can actually create blog posts as well with this. So it would just allow me to do that and then make a page that's more of a blog page that you can do. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save that for right now. But what I am gonna do is let's look at what the, the pricing is on each of these different platforms. So Unicorn Platform, they actually let you try it for free and they call it a lurker, which is uh, pretty cool. So you can actually publish one website. It's gonna have the Unicorn branding you can't put it on your own domain and you can only have uh, 10 blog posts, but this is a great way to test out this platform and see how you want to, to do it. With this one at $9 a month, you can actually publish one website. You still have the, the branding, but you have the AI builder, which is pretty cool. And if you want to remove it, 29 a month, these are the, uh, the yearly prices. The monthly is going to be a little bit more. And then you can have the, uh, the business where you can have multiple uh, projects. And again, this stuff just looks great. You can tell this is built on their own platform. That's uh, really makes a lot of sense for, uh, for everyone. But yeah, so that sounds good. And again, they have the free lifetime plan. So if you want to just test it out, you certainly can do that. Let's look at Lindo. Okay. So the pricing here, and I'll put a link in the uh, description for any of these, if you want to do it. $17 a month and you have a free.com and you can have unlimited pages. So this is for one website and then it's $14 a month for each additional website and you get basically everything, right? So they have the one uh, plan and then they have the, uh, the white label. So if you want to pay monthly $25 and this is really good, but I do, I'm not sure how long this is going to be available for, but on AppSumo, they actually have a lifetime deal right now. And to me, this is just makes so much sense here. As you can see, it's going to be ending soon, but this is just such a great platform to, to get in on and it's really phenomenal. So let me take you through the, the, the pricing here. So right now with the uh, tier one, it's $59 and you can have two websites. So you can just build two projects and that's really great for anyone that has an idea. Maybe I'll, I'll want to create a project. Maybe I'll want to create a personal site. Maybe I'll have an idea sometime this year. So you can do those two websites and a limited AI page creation, publish pages, custom domain, even if you want. So yeah, it makes a ton of sense to, to do that. I think everyone should, should do that. If you're more of like that kind of entrepreneur that has a lot of ideas, then the tier two is 159, that's 10 websites. Um, and you can connect your own API key for GPT-4 usage. And as you saw, the articles that this produces are long and very SEO friendly, which is good because right now, a lot of the SEO content that's, or the AI content that's generated is a little bit shorter with your API key. And again, if, if you're not familiar with ChatGPT-4, you can either pay the $20 a month for a subscription fee, or you can pay an API where you pay it per call and it's very inexpensive. I use the, the API and it's basically like pennies a month that, uh, that, that it charges me. That's an option as well. You can use your own API. They also have tier three, 25 websites, 
309. And this brings in the white label. So you actually get the uh, the white label. You can actually build your own sites and support your own customers. And as I said, these guys are really responsive. They also have tier four, which is 50 websites for 419 and tier five, which is 150 websites. And that's if you want to start a business and you see the potential of Lindo AI and building AI websites because you can do it so quickly and you can present it to, let's say, a client and then customize it and, and, and modify it for them. But there's a lot of bad websites on the internet. There's a lot of people that are sick and, and, and tired of WordPress. So this creates a very interesting opportunity for someone to, to get into that. So overall, um, I've been really happy with using both of these block-based builders because they produce really good websites and they do it fast. And the block method is just, it, it's so much easier because you can look at the page and be like, okay, let's put in something here. Maybe we need testimonials here. And then you can always move the block. So you can push it up a block, uh, push it up two blocks, move it around. It's very easy to do, but you can build while looking at how the site looks. And that's very different than if you hire a developer and you're giving, trying to give them direction and you can't really see what it looks like. This is great for that, that hands-on thing. So I definitely take a look at these block builders. They make it really easy to create that vision and to let your creativity run wild. If you have any questions, certainly let me know. I'd be more than happy to assist and support you as you go out and, and build your, uh, your website. And I'll have the links below this video. So if something interests you, check out the link below and we'll see you in our next video.